there was this hospital and the doctor uh, was going to do surgery on someone's heart and he came in with his books you know his books to help him do the surgery you know open heart surgery and the patient looked at him and said what are the books there for oh they're going to help me guide me to teach me how to do the surgery and the patient said you know are you crazy he got up and left okay that reminds me of Christians who I care about because I was like that at one time. When I see them walking around with the Bible, the books tucked in because they're going to, you know, you either have love or you don't have love. How can you go to school to learn love? You know, you know, I see, <laughs> you know, a Pharisee came to Jesus and asked him, Lord, which is the greatest one command in the Old Testament? See, he was concerned about churchy behavior. He had his Bible with him. He's trying to quiz you know jesus was chapter you know and jesus said well love god then he gave the second one uh love your neighbor thyself because he accepted the second one then jesus still told him you're not far you're not there yet because jesus is not looking for that i'm a little emphatic in this video i made another one look up the verses you know on the other hand zacchaeus the tax collector he said today today you got salvation while the other Bible thumper in his book walking around going to church, listening to the pastors and stuff, he didn't have salvation. He didn't. He wasn't saved. Safe like a lot of you think. You know? And the reason is this guy accepted Jesus' invitation. Jesus came to eat. Jesus fulfills the law. And the prophecy too, you know, and the prophecy, one of the prophecies is the year of Jubilee. And that incorporates eating and drinking together. Uh, family. Jesus is God, right? Well, isn't God in Jesus? So wasn't God with us? Why do you need the second coming to do what he said the first coming? You see? So, this you're not safe. You're not saved. You see, Zacchaeus, he had salvation. Non-religious person. No Bible to tuck under. Jesus doesn't walk around with a Bible under his hand. He didn't walk around. Because you either have love or you don't have love. You know, it's like, how can you go to school and learn about love? You either have it or you don't. The thief on the cross, he just looked. He had love. So you're not safe. You're not saved. You see? And Jesus announced uh, to love one another. He taught that. That fulfills all that. That was towards the end of his ministry, which sums up his, you know, greatest command. Because this is what I teach at greatestonecommand.com. To, to, to read the Bible historically. Not all this walking around with your Bible. You know, going to church and class like you're going to go to school. And finally, one day you're going to graduate. And get your diploma. Oh, I have love now. You either have it or you don't. Okay? So, just stop being hypocritical. Stop going to your churchy behavior and stuff. Get the community to come together. On Sunday, I'm going to, here in Homestead, I'll tell you where I live. Homestead, I'm going to go to some church. And I'm going to set up potluck. The same time. You see? And then I'm going to say, this is my platform. This is Jesus' platform. He was eating and drinking, wine, beer, and a glutton. They uh, criticized him because he always got the community to eat together. Because he was God among us. He's our friend. You know? So, at Greatest One Command, this is what I'm trying to teach. I'm trying to promote that. And Robert D. brings me. That's the only guy I trust. But, you know, I surpassed that. So, once again, greatestonecommand.com.